Understanding, penniless and broke, a deep dive into English phrases. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we make English learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're going to explore two very interesting phrases, penniless and broke. These phrases are often used to describe a lack of money, but do they mean exactly the same thing? Let's dive in and find out together. Remember, understanding these nuances can enhance your English fluency and help you express yourself more precisely. Penniless is a word that paints a vivid picture. It originates from the word penny, which is a unit of currency in many English-speaking countries. To be penniless means to have absolutely no money whatsoever. It's not just about being in a tight spot financially, it's about having zero resources. This term often implies a more permanent or long-term state of having no money. On the other hand, when someone says they are broke, it usually means they have temporarily run out of money. It's a casual term that suggests a person cannot afford to spend money at the moment but this situation is not permanent. They might be waiting for their next paycheck or a bank deposit. Broke is more about a temporary cash flow problem rather than a complete absence of money. Now, let's put these two side by side. The main difference between being penniless and broke lies in the duration and severity of the financial situation. While penniless suggests a more serious and long-term lack of money, Broke is more about a short-term financial hiccup. Understanding this distinction can help you convey the exact level of your financial distress in English. To help you grasp how to use these phrases, let's look at some examples. After paying all the medical bills, she was practically penniless. This sentence suggests a severe and possibly enduring financial situation. I can't go out for dinner tonight. I'm broke until payday. Here, broke indicates a temporary lack of funds, implying the situation will change soon. We hope this video has clarified the meanings and uses of penniless and broke for you. Remember, the beauty of English lies in its nuances, and mastering these can truly make a difference in how effectively you communicate. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more English learning content. Until next time, keep practicing, and never be afraid to expand your vocabulary. Happy learning!